Hello, it's me, the Bidette Rotacho. I'm back again with another video, and today I'm going to be talking about my Death Battle Dream Season, properly organized this time, and with some careful notes about what each matchup would entail in my absolute ideal situation. As for my Dream Season, I would have Gypsy Danger versus The House from Pacific Rim and Amulet. Now, I don't think there's a single person who likes that who doesn't like the big kaiju giant monster fights like Godzilla vs. Gamera, Mechagodzilla vs. the Dragon's Sword, or um, Optimus Prime vs. the Gundam. And I think that a lot of people really love Pacific Rim, and I'm pretty sure quite a few people like Amulet, or at least have nostalgia for it from when they were younger. This fight would ideally be in 3D, because I don't think the sprites would be able to sell the impact properly of just two gigantic creatures fighting. And... The death would ideally be a point blank plasma caster shot directly into the well, directly into the house and just destroying it, just abrupt finish. S sort of similar to Pikachu versus Blanca, but less comical. Anyway, that's all I really have to say on this one. Moving on to the next one. The next one we have is Johnny Lawrence versus Rocky Balboa from The Karate Kid and Rock and the Rocky movies, respectively. Now, this would be a live action fight, ideally, because it would be completely cursed in any other style. Also, I think it is an interesting fight because we've never had a fight that's like two between truly two truly human level characters, like athlete to peak human. We've always had like street level or wall level characters fighting or way higher. So I think that the fight could would probably make most sense starting over misunderstanding, like just randomly bumping into each other, because it would fit both their characters pretty well, considering they're both very rough around the edges, quick to fight characters from what I've seen. And it could probably end with the loser um, getting their neck snapped like accidentally when they fall into something in the environment, so it's an accidental death. And it could end with the winner getting taken away by the police for manslaughter, to truly fit how realistic this death battle is, just... At its core. Some of the other connections are the fact that they both take fat L's and they're both from 80s movies. It's also infinitely better than Daniel versus Rocky. They also both had recent adaptations of the new generation with the Creed movies and the Cobra Kai TV show. Well, that's all I have for this matchup. Moving on. At number three, we have Topo versus Beta Ray Bill from Dragon Ball Super and Marvel Comics. They're both alien superheroes who are also gods. There's probably more connections, but I don't know them off the top of my head. I'm pretty sure someone who's going to end up watching this video does know the connections and can feel me in the comments. Now, the fight seems really fun. It would be a sprite fight, ideally, because that seems to fit Dragon Ball the best. Or at least not Dragon Ball, if not, at least Marvel the best. Dragon Ball has had some decent, decent looking 3D fights. Although they weren't decent fights, all things considered. But the best Dragon Ball fights have always been sprites. Same for some of the better Marvel fights. Now, it could probably end with Bill slowly powering through one of Tabo Sakai's and just destroy and just vaporizing him or crushing his head with Stormbreaker. I think that would be really cool and just sell how powerful the, the power of Thor is and also sell how powerful the, his hammer It also how powerful his hammer is because it has energy absorption, if I'm not mistaken. Also, yeah, Topo definitely is losing this, unfortunately. As much as I like him, he's not winning. Anywho, moving on to number four. Next up is Ganondorf vs. Vilgax from Legend of Zelda and Ben 10, respectively. I've talked about this a lot before, so I'm going to keep this short. They're both basically just Ooga Booga evil bricks who are really strong and also constantly fight green kids. There aren't a lot of connections, but I think it would be a really fun fight to watch. Ideally, it would end up with um, True Form Vilgax fighting um, Twilight Ganon, and could end with a Time Bomb, which would probably be the only win condition Vilgax has. I personally think that um, that Ganondorf wins this, but I've heard arguments made for Vilgax off of just debunking Planetary Legends of Zelda. Moving on. Next up, we have Captain Mizuki vs. Miruko from My Hero Academia or vs. We Fit Trainer from, well, We Fit. Now, I made two of these for one reason, mostly because I don't really want to solidify Captain Mizuki's only matchup on this list as a L, because Miruko just completely destroys her. And she does win against We Fit Trainer, though, which is nice. Basically, the connections come down to they're both. 
They're both, for Miracle versus Mizuki, they're both superheroines who are heavily muscled and are also very popular within the fan base, especially recently. And the connections for Wii Fit Trainer are their sports-based fighters with ponytails who are blue and are quite fit. If the kill doesn't involve someone's head getting smashed between thighs, it is not worth happening. It would be ideally hand-drawn, and Miracle wins the first, Mizuki wins the second. Moving on to number six. Next up is Kid Goku vs. Hereta from Dragon Ball and Pokemon Adventures, respectively. They are both super eager energetic children who live in the woods and have little social knowledge. They're also ridiculously strong for what people seem to think are normal humans and are heavily associated with monkeys for some reason. It could end with Regigigas overpowering Ozaru Goku and crushing his head, or it could end with Goku killing Hererita by evaporating him with a Kamehameha as he jumps in the way to save his Pokemon who flee after the fight. See, Hererita wins if Regigigas gets scaled into Garantina consistently, but if you decide to use other scales, Goku just destroys because moon level is higher than Continental, which is the best that Hererita consistently has. Moving on. Oh, look at that. It's a Benebro Tacho video that's happened that's gone on in almost six minutes that we talked about Cleopatra in Space once. Let's change that. At number seven, we have Octavian vs. Cars from Cleopatra in Space vs. Joe's Bizarre Adventure. If this idea will be a sprite fight. The connection are both ancient deity like villains who are thwarted by a force from the past, Cleopatra and Haman Warrior. They also both have roots in mythology, with Octavian being directly inspired by some Egyptian mythologies and Cars being inspired by an Aztec god. They also become animal-like upon reaching their peak. At his peak, Octavian had squid legs, and at Car's peak, he had bird wings, and it was constantly turning into different animals. They also have the concept of Car's power coming with beauty, but his existence becomes an eternal torment after his defeat, and he gets shot into space. While Octavian became ugly, but his defeat was a mercy on a millennium of painful agony at the hands of being unable to die in a painful universe. Yeah, that kind of stinks. Could, could end with Car's getting yoked into space and frozen again, or getting tossed into the sun and being disintegrated, or could end up with Octavian using the sort of chem to disintegrate him like he did to Has Hazelrig in Book 6. Octavian should win this unless Cars absorbs him, which I don't think would happen because, like, Cars, that's his, that's Cars' only win condition. So, moving on. Coming in for the mid-season finale, we have possibly the most popular death battle matchup request besides maybe Galactus vs. Unicron. And that is Kyle Rayner vs. Simon the Digger from DC Comics and Gurn Lagon. I don't really know much about this one. I would like it to be sprites, though. I do know it also seems really cool and super hype because they both have, like... Because one of them is, like, a galaxy-sized mech and the other one creates, um, like, solar system-sized um, hard light constructs and has the power of Ion and a White Lantern. I have no idea how it ends, but I hear Simone wins and it probably has the drill to the face. Again, I don't have a lot to say about this one, but I think it's a, a lot of people's dream matchup, and I think it would be really fun to watch, just based on what I do know. Next up, we have Akaza vs. Suiryu from One Punch Man and Demon Slayer. This would be a sprite fight, and they're both martial arts masters with an infinite desire to fight and grow stronger. And I think martial arts fights are some of the coolest fights in the series, like look at Heihachi vs. Geese, for example, and don't look at Akuma vs. Shao Kahn, because that one's trash. But consistently, they have been pretty good, and I think these two are pretty close in power. It could end with a repeat of how Rengoku died in the Kimetsu no Yaiba movie, but this time ending with a head getting knocked off at the same time rather than just a stomach punch. I don't think Suiru has any win conditions because of Akaza's regeneration, unless he gets him to the sun. Also, Suiru's only advantage is he has a slight advantage in attack potency, given he unblocked an attack that was... City block level, while well, Akaza's only, like, city block level on a bad day. No, wait. Suiryu's is multi-city block level. high to town level, if you really want to go there. I think Suiryu loses this, but it'll still be a really fun fight. Especially since both this soundtrack just slap so hard from their series. Anywho, moving on. Next up is Omnion vs. Gogeta. It could, be a, it could be a 3D fight, in my opinion. And they're both super overpowered, over-the-top fusions that are, have, could have an awesome and destructive brawl. And which should end with a Sardis Breaker or a full-force Kamehameha like any of the Broly movie. I've heard Gogeta wins, but I've also heard Omnimon's complex multiversal, which I don't know about. 
I'm just going to say Gogeta wins because I like Gogeta more. Anywho, moving on. Now, here's a weird one that, saw, that shockingly isn't the season's joke matchup. This is Madeline Cookie vs. Superman from Cookie Run and DC Comics. Now, this is a really weird one. It would ideally be hand-drawn, but the thing is, it's actually a Cookie Run win since apparently every single cookie is multiversal to multiversal plus with some maybe having outer scales that have been debunked, sort of, but I don't know about that. They're both badass warriors of Paragon Lawful Good. It could end with Madeline Cookie getting eaten by Superman as a final effort, but then just slicing his way out in just like a savage and brutal way. Plus the Superman element. We could always use more of those in a world where Superman gets wanked to oblivion in every single versus match he's in. Now for this next one. Are you even surprised? Is there anything that I have said or done in my lifetime as a content creator that make you think that I wouldn't include Cleopatra vs. Emily on this list? Is there? No, seriously, tell me below. Is there anything that would make you think I wouldn't put this here? Anywho, this would be a sprite fight, and the connections are the young female protagonists of graphic novels who use pink magic, who, who get isekai into another world with have an animal psychic and fight a bizarre mystical entity. They also wind up being some of the strongest characters in the reverse. In my ideal ending, the ending goes like this. So, Emily goes into a bird form to, f to try to win, and slams Cleopatra into a building where she gets impaled on debris, and as... Bird Emily begins to leave. Clea regenerates and explodes out of the rubble and powers into the Firebird and uses the weird thing she did to destroy the Golden Lion to blow it up, shattering the stone and disabling Emily's magic. As they fall to the ground, Cleo power ducks her head off Ken vs. Terry style with her fist coated in her magic. And yeah, Cleopatra wins in every way. There's literally no advantage that Emily has that lets her get even the slightest of Ws, except for maybe the fact that she might be a tiny bit faster in terms of travel speed. I don't know, I just really love this matchup. I really couldn't put it any... I couldn't put it in as the finale in good faith because I know no one else thinks this is finale material. And I admit there are probably better finale fights. But I love it so much that I had to include it on here. Moving on. Now, many Death Battle seasons have had joke fights. Like Deadpool vs. Pinkie Pie, Sagata Sandro vs. Chuck Norris, and most recently, um, Kool-Aid Man vs. Macho Man. And no, I don't count Satana vs. Popeye as a joke fight. That conclusion is too emotional for that. So my joke fight is Kakuen vs. Ace. From Joseph's Bizarre Adventure and One Piece. This would be a sprite fight. The connections are just donuts. They both get punched through the chest when they die. And it should most likely end with a donut hole again because, of course, and if Ace doesn't deflect with Emerald Splash, I'm nuking the entire planet. Moving on. Oh, and side note, Ace just destroys Kakuen. It's not even a fair fight. He wins. No, no difficulty. Next up is Deku vs. Gone for My Hero Academia and Hunter x Hunter. I don't think Hunter x Hunter has been on Death Battle before, which is really odd considering how popular it is. And sh the connections are the Broccoli Boys. That's like their whole shtick. Their Broccoli Boys are constantly compared to each other. And they use brute force strength to fight. Although Deku's a bit more strategic than that. So it's gone, but you know. Could end with a United States of World Smash versus an adult John Ken. And Deku wins. I know this is highly contested, but Meruem's big screw you beam, which scales higher than anything Gon's ever done, is has only been, has been recalculated only town level. And and Deku has an island level calc in the... um. In the Heroes United, I think it was called, movie. The one where he and Bakugo share one for all for like five minutes. I know there's a lot of debate over this. If I'm wrong, tell me why in the comments and please provide proof because I would love to know. Moving on. Penal for the penultimate episode, we have God Emperor Doom vs. Heaven Ascension Dio from Joe's Bizarre Adventure and Marvel Comics. This is... Basically, Darkseid vs. Thanos Part 2 Electric Boogaloo, and it'll be a 3D fight. The connections are that they're both virtually omniscient gods in their world who manipulate reality to their, to their liking and make a perfect universe. I don't think I need to tell you that Dio just completely gets slammed, given he's only, like, universal, and God Emperor Doom is, like, high outer. And it could end with him getting reacted to reality as he watches his perfect heaven crumble around him that he worked so hard to create. Yeah, Doom wins, which is nice, because he should win a... He's gotten two really bad fights so far, and I think he deserves another good one. Although, I kind of like Lex vs. Doom, which no one else seems to. 
and we moved on to the ultimate finale. Side note before we continue, I realized having been making this that I didn't have ready thumbnails made for all these matchups, so I had to go to Google to find some. I don't have the credits to all the creators, but if you see this, let it, I'm here to let you know that I really appreciate you making these so I could find them. If I actually use a thumbnail and you don't want to use it, just let me know. I'll take it out. Just let me know. Now we move on to number one. Thank you for hearing me out about thumbnails. And to capstone the season, we have Boros vs. Deoxys from One Punch Man and Pokemon. This would be a sprite battle, and one and my favorite One Punch Man character is Boros second, maybe to Mizuki, and he's probably the character I want to see on Death Battle the most, besides maybe Cleopatra. And I think he also has a really good chance, even though we've gotten three One Punch Man matchups in three seasons in a row, and not one of them has been Boros, and one of them had freaking Popeye in it. So, yeah, that kind of makes me mad. But... They're badass alien warriors with many forms who are really hard to kill. They have crystals in their hearts that give them their power. Could have the psycho boost collapsed with a collide with a CSRC or collapsing star roaring cannon, destroying the planet and evaporating Boros. Deoxys just completely slaughters given he's anywhere from planet level to dwarf star level, while Boros is only like, well, you know, he's only planet surface level. I know people calculate him to planet level, but I don't think that's right. It's said surface level in the manga. Anyway, that's all I have for this matchup. Moving on to the to the Wait, I don't have anything after this. Well, let's just get to the conclusion. In conclusion, there are several new series introduced in this season. Hunter Hunter, Cookie Run, Gurren Lagann, Demon Slayer, Cleopatra in Space, Amulet, Pacific Rim, Karate Kid, and Rocky. I think that this is a very good season, at least in my opinion. And I am very glad that you... if you, And I'm very glad that you stuck it out to hear me all the way through to the end. Thank you for your patience. Thank you for your time. By the way, leave in the comments what you think my next video should be. I'm always open to suggestions, and I always love reading the comments. Also, like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. See you next time.